Embrace My Friends is the story of JJ Englert, filmmaker turned entrepreneur with no technical skills who learned no code and was able to go from idea to sold startup with the power of these tools. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down his story and talking about the tools that he used. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Startup Studio. I'm Christian, the co-founder at We Are No Code. We teach non-technical entrepreneurs how to launch their startup ideas with no code. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks on no code, AI, and everything that has to do with startups. Now the story of JJ's entrepreneurial spirit starts back in middle school when he started his first business selling candy to kids. Not a business I would advise to adults. <laughs> I've always loved uh, building businesses or bringing ideas to life. Um, and I also came from a, a middle class family where money was very tight. And if I wanted anything extra, I need to find out how to get that money to buy that. You know, uh, money wasn't just given to me in a, in a lot of different ways. And so uh, it started very early, I think as early as a fourth grade where um, uh, my dad belonged to a wholesale club. And I'd say, hey, dad, can you buy me this candy? And he'd bring home like a pack of 10 or 20. And then I'd bring it to school, put it in my locker and sell it. Anyway, this sparked his interest in building and selling things at a very young age. Now, fast forward to when he was working working in the film industry as a producer and a director, JJ recognized the lack of a trustworthy online platform to hire people in this industry. And that's what led him to his first technology startup. Quickly after film school, I launched my own production company. I think about two years into that production company, I was hiring like about 300 filmmakers each year, contractors, independent film crew. So it got to a point where if my regulars were busy, I couldn't find a film crew to hire. At the time, there was no real online platform that you can turn to to hire professional people that you trust. That's what led me to tech for the first time. I was like, well, what if I could find someone to build me a database that was a little bit more complex than WordPress that could scale to maybe five, 10, 20,000 users, right? Now faced with the challenges of being a first time entrepreneur who also did not know how to code, JJ was forced to raise money from angel investors to be able to build the platform that he needed for the technology aspect of this business. And I got connected with him and I was like, hey, can you build this for me? He's like, oh, MVP. Yeah, I can build it for you. I showed him the scope of what I wanted. He's like, yeah, we could probably do this for like 50 to 60 grand. And I was like, shoot, that's that's a lot more than I was thinking. But let me see if I can get the money. So that led me to tech. And as he was building a platform with programmers, he realized there was a huge amount of scope creep, meaning that the investment money very quickly disappeared. And tired of being constantly dependent on expensive programmers to get things done, this is the point at which JJ discovered no code. More specifically, a powerful tool called Bubble. He was able to turn that venture into a trusted platform. Now in 2017, and equipped with these powerful no code skills, JJ launched Jump Studio. He built the platform this time entirely leveraging his no-code skills that he had learned in his previous venture to create a SaaS platform, allowing them to upload and share creative assets, collaborate with other members that they would be working with, and even managing customer proposals and invoicing. It took two years and $200,000 to get V1 of Industry Jump Live on a full scale mark, uh, full stack. And then with my second time around in no-code, it took about four and a half months and maybe $500 in server fees or everything and course fees, everything to get live with V1 for Jump Studio. Now, after launching the platform and getting initial traction for it, he discovered a website called MicroAcquire, which is now called Acquire.com, a website where business owners could list their businesses for sale and find acquirers through a trusted process. After listing his business on this platform, he got more than 60 different messages from potential acquirers. And through the platform itself, he was able to very easily and transparently find the right buyer for his business. And that's how he went from idea to fully built SaaS platform to company sale. And by the way, if you're looking to launch your startup idea with no code tools, you can check out our free course below that'll give you the step-by-step -step process. Now the important stories that we can take away from the story are as follows. Number one, if you need to build technology, there is a huge amount that you can do as a non-technical person with these powerful no code tools. So always being reliant on the next bill of a developer can really put you in an uncomfortable position in the long term. Lesson number two, no code is no joke. You can build fully functional SaaS platforms leveraging these powerful tools. And no, JJ had absolutely no programming background before he started building with no code. And the third lesson comes from JJ himself, where he tells founders to trust in themselves and their own capabilities and to become more self-reliant so they can properly manage their own business and be more independent. And that, my friends, is how you go from selling candy to selling a software business. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe so we can continue to bring you tips and tricks to build your startups without 
without being technical. So go out there, take things in your own hands, be more like JJ, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Let's go.